what if I told you that all things done in the earth are done by the angels and the Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits or the Lord of Hosts imagine what his hosts are in our day they're angels they're ministering spirits the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraught thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages have been blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us today I'm going to be talking about the Holy Ghost but you see the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and if you want to walk with God in the earth today you're going to be walking with the Holy Ghost so you should know him more and more say more and more I mean people think oh yeah, they know all about God or they know all about the Holy Ghost well don't listen to them they don't know what they're talking about there's always more say there's always more that you can learn about the Holy Ghost and I'm going to be talking about some of those things today I apologize up front if what I'm gonna say is upsetting to things that you've previously thought about God or especially about the Holy Ghost but a lot of things I'm going to say tonight will literally flip things over in your theology but when you find out what the scriptures actually say much of what I'm gonna be saying tonight is not for everybody because there's a lot of people that are happy with their Christianity they're happy with the way that things are going and so I'm not trying to upset your cart here this message may not be for you this message is for people who have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to them and 99% of the time that means you're gonna to have to change he's not gonna change you change and part of what's gonna change is the way you think about him and I'm gonna help you with that first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you say my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in me so what is your body a temple of the Holy Ghost so he you're in the earth he must be in the earth right let's read on here which you have of God that's talking about your body and you are not your own for you are bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body now who's the God that's in your body we just read that in verse 19 it says what no you're not that your body is the temple say temple temple of the Holy Ghost your body you have of God glorify God in your body who would the God that's in your body be the Holy Ghost who are you supposed to glorify Holy Ghost are you here what no you not this I, I'm often dumbfounded over although I wasn't brought up this way but I'm dumbfounded when I bring this up to people and they're like what second Corinthians 6 16 and what agreement has the temple of God with idol who's the temple of God it says right here you are the temple of the living God who's the living God according to this verse of scripture and the one that we just read you are the temple of the living God so we know something about the Holy Ghost now that maybe you didn't know before yeah he's God but he's also the living God say living God now you're beginning to know who this God is that's in you let me ask you a question though when did you stop being a temple of God you didn't stop being a temple of you what no you not you are you are a temple. so you are right now if you're a temple what should you be doing you're walking around with God in you a temple of God is for the worship of God specifically the worship of the God that's in the temple God is a spirit they that worship him must worship him well who must worship it the temple of God that you are so all day long I worship you Holy Ghost all day long I worship you Holy Ghost you don't ever cease being 
a temple of God that's who you be you be a temple of the Living God go to first John first John 4 4 you are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you who's the he that is in you according to scriptures that we just read the he that is in you is the Holy Ghost yeah yeah well yeah yeah let's re read read back up here verse 2 hereby know ye the Spirit of God he's literally talking about the Spirit of God this is how you know the Spirit of God we're talking about knowing the Spirit of God in a different way then he goes down to verse 4 you are of God little children and have overcome them the world because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world who is the greater one that's in you that would have to be the Spirit of God verse 2 hereby know ye the Spirit of God are you getting this I'm trying to frame you up here because we're going somewhere today so the greater one is he and hereby we know the Spirit of God or the Spirit God now I'm gonna say a lot of things tonight that might sound a little strange because you haven't heard them before but we're gonna keep going on here you have not known me the Holy Ghost as the Spirit of God or the Spirit God most people would not if I read that verse of Scripture they would have a completely different idea of what was going on there religiously but they've not known him the Holy please listen they've not known him as the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today as the Spirit God God who is a spirit because if they did know him they would worship him isn't that true yeah most people do not know him the Holy Ghost as God well how about Lord how about do they know him as Lord or as the Spirit Lord if you say that in most people they're like what no it's because their theology's theology has been twisted well we're here to flip it back upright how about Lord or as the Spirit Lord now everybody would say talk about him as the Spirit of the Lord but so often those qualifiers of the are not in there and it seems like oh he's the Spirit of the Lord no he is the Spirit Lord so if I say that let's just briefly you all right with us walking you through some stuff go to Acts chapter 13 we said we could know the Holy Ghost in a way we didn't know him yet Acts chapter 13 verse 2 as they ministered to the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them who said this specifically said the Holy Ghost said separate me he's calling himself me he's personally aware that he's in the earth can you imagine that if the Holy Ghost is a person and he's God is he aware of himself being in the earth well here we have him saying separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work were into I have called them who called them Holy Ghost so here we have evidence of the Holy Ghost being the one setting people and calling people in the earth and moving them around and telling them what to do Holy Ghost as Lord the Spirit Lord most people don't know him as the Spirit Lord and when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them they sent them away verse 4 so they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost who sent them forth the Holy Ghost that would be the Spirit Lord he is being acting out his Lordship of the church 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 17 now the Lord is that Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or by the Spirit Lord 
he's changing you from glory to glory as you know him better and better say as I know him better and better he changes you from glory to glory I looked up this translation here even as by the Spirit Lord one translation says all this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit all this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit say the Lord who is the Spirit if the Lord is the Spirit he's the Spirit Lord are you getting this when did Jesus become the Holy Ghost Jesus never became the Holy Ghost Jesus sat down at the right hand of the Father and sent another he didn't send himself as the Holy Ghost he sent another all this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit or the Spirit Lord are you getting this I realize I've covered this so many other times but a lot of people are just gonna be blown away by that well we need to understand that he's the one in the earth leading guiding empowering directing the church as the Spirit Lord all right so we know something about the Spirit Lord we know something about the Spirit of God we know something about the Spirit God or God who is a spirit we know something about the one that Jesus sent who would be the one that Jesus sent that would be the Holy Ghost he would be the Spirit Lord he would be the Spirit God are you still here I hope you're keeping up because I'm gonna say some things that will probably just either irritate you or really bless you the one Jesus sent the another remember he said I'm gonna send another I'm gonna go to the Father and I will send another he will send a comforter so we know something about the another we know something about the comforter we know something about the one Jesus sent we know he's a spirit we know his name is the Holy Ghost are you getting this so we're not without knowledge about who he is we keep building upon it so we can go farther do you know him as God do you know him as the Spirit Lord so you may have known him on all those things that I've just said most likely not but you may know him as the Spirit Lord or the Spirit God or the one Jesus sent or the another or the comforter are you here but you have not known me says the Spirit Lord as the Lord of spirits you have not known him yet as the Lord of spirits let me help you out go to Zechariah now remember can we know the Holy Ghost better than maybe we've known him before and if we know something new about him then we can therefore know him in that way in that capacity and walk with him there are you here you have not known him yet as the Lord of spirits some of you are excited about it I am Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3 therefore say thou unto them thus saith the Lord of hosts you've heard of that right we've all heard that thus saith the Lord of hosts turn ye unto me saith the Lord of hosts and I will turn unto you saith the Lord of hosts he says the Lord of hosts three times there now if you look up the word hosts it's literally translated armies so here he's saying that he is he calls himself that the Lord of armies or the Lord of hosts now in our day would that apply to the Holy Ghost since he's God in the earth today is he still the Lord of hosts that's in the earth what if I told you what if I told you that all things done in the earth are done with his angels and him as the Lord of spirits all things done in the earth are done by the angels and the Holy Ghost as the Lord of spirits or the Lord of hosts imagine what his hosts are in our day it wouldn't be physical army guys they're angels they're ministering spirits who would be the Lord of spirits in our day in the earth it would have to be the Holy Ghost he is the Lord 
of spirits here we see the name the Lord of hosts those hosts would be angelic hosts and therefore he is the Lord of spirits if you can receive it if you can that all things all things that are done in the earth are done by angels I could take you through all of the gifts of the Spirit and show you an angel doing something about it either touching somebody's tongue or opening their eyes opening their ears who's doing it the angels and who are they obeying but the Lord of Spirits who's telling them to do it are you getting this and if you can receive it good for you because we're going somewhere and it's exciting now if you remember in 2nd Kings 2nd Kings chapter 6 let's read verse 15 and when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth behold and host say and host and host compassed the city both with horses and chariots and his servant said unto him alas my master how shall we do and then verse 16 and he answered fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them and Elijah prayed and said Lord I pray thee open his eyes that he may see and the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha there were more with Elisha and his servant than there were with the actual physical army host are you getting this what was the host that was with Elijah or Elisha it was a host of the armies of the Lord and what were they made of angels how did this come to pass angels brought it to pass more angels there were more say more there were more angels with them than there were regular bad guys say more angels is it okay to have more angels than the problem we're talking about the Lord of Spirits we're talking about knowing the Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits which you might not have known him as before would it be beneficial to know him as the Lord of Spirits what would that enable you to have at your access all of the angels of God doing all the things that they want to be able to do uh, Psalms 103 let's look down to verse 21 bless the Lord all ye his hosts he's the Lord of hosts he's the Lord of spirits he's the Lord of angels imagine that he's the Holy Ghost he is a spirit they're all under him say this he's the Lord of spirits he's your spirit Lord you should be obeying him and doing whatever he says in the earth but he's also the Lord of all of those angels that are in the earth how come you've never heard this before bless ye the Lord talking about the Holy Ghost all ye his hosts say his hosts ye ministers of his that do his pleasure if the Holy Ghost wants something done ye ministers of him that do his pleasure here you have scripture that says if it's done and the Holy Ghost wants it done the ministers of him are the ones that do his pleasure I hope you got that I mean I can say it probably 15 more times in a row but it's there if you can hear it bless the Lord you his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments if the Holy Ghost commands who do his commandments bless the Lord you his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word bless ye the Lord all ye his hosts he calls them hosts he calls them angels they do all say all all his commandments well, I, I don't think that they do all then you don't think this this is the word that says it 
they do that and they excel in strength doing his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word so as you can see here he is the Lord of spirits meaning they do what he says to do say that they do what he says to do that means he's their Lord he's the Lord of spirits he's the Holy Ghost he's in the earth he's the Lord of spirits and he's in the earth he's also the Holy Ghost are you getting this are you learning more about who the Holy Ghost is who is this Holy Ghost who is he what can he do he can do whatever he says and when he says it the angels do it sometimes I use improper English simply to make a point seems silly but seems to work go to uh, you still in Psalms go to Psalms 91 so you can infer by that if something happened by the Holy Ghost was there an angel involved yeah Psalms 91 verse 10 there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling is that a promise of God should you confess that especially in this day and age no evil shall befall me neither shall any plague come near my dwelling now if I say that am I giving voice to God's Word yeah if I give voice to God's Word the angels hearken to it excel in strength and do it are you here remember that we just read that let's read it again there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling for verse 11 he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in one of your ways now don't go and tell me that you're saying the angels have he'll give the angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways meaning the angels will do all no that is exactly what I'm telling you that if it's done in the earth it's done by an angel and the Spirit Lord are you here <sighs> do you still like me there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling we've already said that's a good scripture you should confess it how you say is it going to come to pass verse 11 he shall give his angels charge over thee now if he's the Lord of the Spirit angel then he has the ability to give them charge right over thee to keep thee in some of thy ways nope all your ways so if the Lord is giving me charge the Spirit Lord and all my ways are kept and prospering how is that what is that what's happening angels 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 all my ways angels all right that was kind of fun so to keep you in all your ways well how many ways all of them what about healing and health all of them he's just talking about healing and health you mean an angel is gonna keep me in healing and health right and keep germs and viruses away from you angel who does this to spirit lower so please listen you need more angelic involvement in your life listen to me you need more angelic involvement in your life say I need more angelic involvement in my life you certainly do if you want Psalms 91 coming to pass are you here let me ask if you did let's just assume that this is true that you do need more angelic involvement wouldn't it be good to know the Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits wouldn't it be good to 
to add that to your knowledge of who the Holy Ghost is that he is the Lord of Spirits and when you worship him he's releasing angels into your affairs all your affairs say all my affairs say all my affairs have angelic involvement from the Lord of Spirits who's the Lord of Spirits you say the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today who you know he likes this message even if you don't so you need more angelic involvement in your life hearkening unto the voice of God's Word well if I know let's, let's back it up beep beep if I know the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying and speaking in agreement with his word I'm giving voice to his word what are the angels gonna do they hearken to the voice of God's Word you are the voice of God's Word is this any fun yet Daniel chapter 10 now here we have the scene where Daniel was fasting in those days let's see verse 2 chapter 10 verse 2 in those days I Daniel was mourning three full weeks he fasted three full weeks say he fasted three full weeks going on to verse 12 and then this angel appeared to him why would an angel be appearing to him why didn't God just appear to him and say I'm doing because God uses his angels in the earth <sighs> Daniel chapter 10 verse 12 then said he unto me fear not Daniel for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before before thy God thy words were heard and I am come for thy words who came for his words an angel came for his words say the angel came for his words right now angels will come for your words when your words are in agreement with God's words well here's the fact you have not done with the angels what you should have been doing and you have not been doing with the angels what you should be doing do you think that would have a result and an effect in your life if all the things that God is doing for you is via angelic involvement but you haven't been doing the thing that you should be doing so their hands are tied go to Hebrews try to wrap this up wrap it up brother you blew my mind all right let's wrap up that mind Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation who are the heirs of salvation we are the heirs of salvation it says are not they all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for how are they going to minister for you you're going to have to begin speaking the words of God over your affairs and how's it going to come to pass magic angels I find this one curious you're still in Hebrews right Hebrews chapter 13 verse 1 let brotherly love continue and forget not to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unawares and now nobody's nobody's criticizing this because thank God the angels were able to get something done with the people not being aware of it but back in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 14 it says we shouldn't be unaware so you might say uh, more angelic involvement yes more angelic involvement you need more angelic involvement in the affairs of your life can you see this how are we going to get more angelic involvement we're going to have the spirit Lord or the Lord of Spirits involved in our life if the Holy Ghost is the Lord of Spirits and he's involved in our life guess who comes along with him all of his hosts are you getting this 
it's by knowing him the Lord of angelic involvement <laughs> the Lord of spirits that's the Holy Ghost so we know that we walk with the Holy Ghost the Lord of spirits by saying words speaking in agreement with his word if I want to have more angelic involvement I'm gonna have to be speaking more in agreement with the Lord of Spirits words and we're talking about the Holy Ghost if you stayed this long you know more about the Holy Ghost than most people even know about him he's the Lord of Spirits we activate the angelic forces by giving voice to the Holy Ghost's Word does this make sense so if we need more angelic involvement from the Holy Ghost as we declare and give voice to his word more angels more angels more angels more angels go and do the thing we need them to do how many angels does it take it doesn't matter more it overwhelms the enemy you are now introduced to the Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits Hebrews chapter 12 verse 22 but you are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the Living God do you remember who the Living God is oh you're the temple of the Living God what no you not we worship the Living God I worship the Living God I'm a Living God worshiper the Living God is the Holy Ghost you are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the Living God the heavenly Jerusalem and say and and to an innumerable company of angels you are come to you are introduced now to the Living God and an innumerable company of angels you don't get those two separate you understand with the Living God comes his innumerable company of angels the Lord of hosts the Lord of spirits the Holy Ghost are you getting this how does he do what he does he has the angels do they go together no Lord of spirits without the spirits <laughs> are you here he's no Lord of there is no Lord of angels if he has no angels he's the Lord of spirits because the spirits are under his Lordship he is the Spirit Lord I'm enjoying this I hope you are Romans chapter 8 now we know him the Holy Ghost in a little bit different way than we might have known him before right Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits doing things via angelic intervention let's read verse 26 Romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities or our weaknesses inability or lack for we know not what we should say for or pray for as we ought but the Spirit himself says for prays for makes intercession for us with groaning with our groanings those things w that we did not know what to utter what are we talking about here speaking in other tongues here we're talking about speaking in other tongues in agreement with God the Holy Ghost he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession or says speaks according to the will of God the will of God is the Word of God we are making utterance in accordance with God the Holy Ghost and his will then verse 28 comes about and we know that all things work together for good for us when is it that we know that all things say things are working together for good for us we can talk about things being angels the angels are things they're beings but all things are working say working working together for good for us when we're speaking 
in agreement with the will of God here it just happens to be talking about other tongues this is your declaration of angelic involvement all things work together for good for me when I say that all things work together for good for me is that a scripture can I say that scripture all things work together for good for me that is your declaration of angelic involvement all things are working together for good for me and the angels of God bring it to pass for I give voice to God's Word and they take up where I could not go and we thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people and opening their ears that they may hear what the Spirit is saying to them today and that the angels may be loosed and released into their finances into their affairs and let them be blessed and keep them healthy and delivered we give you all the glory and praise Holy Ghost we worship you you are the Lord of spirits in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I thank you that you are the Lord of spirits and that you bless me and that you receive these tithes and offerings and that the angels go forth and cause the finances and the money and the things the situations to come about to me and bless me I thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth too.